The Bell AH-1Z Viper is a modern version of the AH-1 Cobra, the first ever attack helicopter. The modern version is also called Zulu Cobra, in reference to its variant letter. The latest AH-1Z Viper is a result of the H-1 helicopter upgrade program for the U.S. Marine Corps that was launched by the U.S. government in 1996. It is one of the most powerful, capable, and advanced helicopters flying today. Since its introduction in the mid-1960s, the original Cobra has undergone ongoing development and modernization. The upgrade included the implementation of state-of-the-art weapons and digital technology to meet the demands of modern combat. Moving on further, we will take a look at the design of this helicopter. The AH-1Z has essential changes in propulsion. It is powered by two General Electric T-700 GE-400 and 1C turboshaft engines, upgraded transmission, and also has four-bladed main rotor, which reduced vibrations by up to 70%. Moreover, this helicopter can operate in day, night, or adverse weather conditions. It has night vision twinned with infrared, new target search and acquisition software, which permits Viper to find and engage targets at long range. It can also be fitted with Longo fire control radar, mounted on the wingtip station. In regard to its armament, this helicopter is enhanced by a helmet-mounted sight and display system. The AH-1Z carries various weapons on stub wings. Typically, it carries AGM-114 and BC Hellfire anti-tank missiles and pods with 70mm unguided rockets. The Viper can also be fitted with AGM-114 F Hellfire anti-ship missiles, a 20mm three-barrel cannon free-fall bombs, including the Mark 77 incendiary bombs. Additionally, it can carry two fire and forget AIM-9 Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles. However, a number of improvements were made to survivability and crashworthiness of the helicopter. It is fitted with an infrared suppression system which covers engine exhausts, laser, radar warning systems, and radar jammer. It also has a smart countermeasures dispenser with a missile warning device. Moreover, it is worth noting that the latest airframe technologies were also implemented, such as energy-absorbing landing gear, self-sealing fuel tanks and fuel systems, and fuel vapor inerting systems. The helicopter's fuselage and exterior parts were treated to prevent corrosion during lengthy marine use. These helicopters typically operate from amphibious assault ships. Talking about its operational history, during May 2005, it was announced that the AH-1Z had completed its first round of sea-based flight trials, and in October 2005, the USMC, through the Naval Air Systems Command, accepted delivery of the first AH-1Z production standard helicopter. Since the type's introduction, numerous improvements have been investigated and integrated. During March 2022, it was stated that the AGM-179, a joint air-to-ground missile, had reached first operational capability upon the AH-1Z. As of early 2022, development is already underway to replace both the Hellfire and Maverick missiles with this munition. Furthermore, during October 2020, the USMC announced the withdrawal of the last of its AH-1W Super Cobras, which then the type has been entirely replaced by AH-1Z Vipers. In USMC service, the AH-1C forms a key element of the aviation combat element, a task-oriented force of supporting the USMC throughout all phases of its expeditionary operations, which the key tasks in this capacity include offensive air support, anti-air warfare, assault support, and aerial reconnaissance. During the early 2020s, there were debates over reducing as much as one-third of the USMC's attack helicopter fleet in order to reallocate funding to other capabilities. Then in May 2021, even as deliveries continued, several USMC AH-1Zs were placed in long-term storage at the 300 and Mount Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group in Arizona as part of a larger reorganization effort. Moreover, this helicopter attracts some of foreign interests. The AH-1Z was offered to South Korea during the early 2010s, 
competing against the AH-64 Apache and the TAI or Augusta Westland T-129 ATAK attack helicopters. The U.S. State Department then approved a possible foreign military sales to Pakistan for 15 AH-1C Vipers with Hellfire missiles in April 2015, associated equipment, and support worth up to $952 million. That was also interested in selling the AH-1C to Poland and the Czech Republic in 2016, which were looking to replace their Mil Mi-24 gunships from the Soviet era. The Czech Republic then finalized the sale with the U.S. of four AH-1Zs for the Czech Air Force in December 2019. Czech Defense Minister Jana Cernakova announced plans to buy further helicopters in March 2022, attributing this decision to the recent Russian invasion of Ukraine. During 2016, according to several rumors, the Royal Moroccan Air Force was considering buying numerous AH-1Zs which then Bell Helicopter signed a memorandum of understanding with Romanian airspace company IAR, Gimba Brasso Group for potential collaboration on the AH-1Z in November 2016. In 2017, Bell promoted both the AH-1Z and the UH-1Y Venom to the Australian Army as a potential replacement for their existing fleet of Eurocopter Tiger attack helicopters. In July 2017, Bell Helicopter and Polished Armaments Group signed a letter of intent planning to work together on the UH-1Y and AH-1Z helicopters, forming a potential proposal for the Polished Kruk Attack Helicopter Acquisition Program. This was done as part of a wider modernization effort. In March 2022, in light of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Poland reportedly delayed a decision on new attack helicopters until after the completion of a sweeping security review. Furthermore, Nigeria has sought to procure AH-1Zs for some time. Sales were initially blocked by Congress over human rights concerns. However, during April 2022, it was revealed that the U.S. State Department has approved the sale of the type along with supporting equipment under a nearly $1 billion contract. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly to subscribe to our channel for more updates on awesome videos.